Here today with Point Loma junior forward Dalton Hummus, head coach Ryan Looney, and senior forward Preston Beverly. You guys had a really tough battle out there against Cal State San Bernardino today. Point Loma won 83 to 68. But I'd like to talk to you about just the physical nature of this game, Preston. You were one of the guys battling in the post. Four of their guys fouled out really testing kind of the depth of that team and also put you on the free throw line 47 times. Just talk about the physicality you experienced down there today. Uh, yeah, they were a really physical team and uh, we just wanted to follow the game plan as usual and just get inside in the post and uh, play inside out and we just got to play through that toughness because we're going to see it all year long. Did you guys try to attack people when they were in foul trouble? Was that part of a plan? I mean, yeah, if anybody's in foul trouble, uh, we got to go at them and just be strong and play through the contact. Dalton, to me, you guys were up just two points at halftime. What was the halftime message? Because it felt like you guys, they made a little run starting the second half, but you guys really came on strong. You kind of helped them lead the charge there. Uh, yeah, we just had to run our offense better. Uh, we were kind of mixed up a little bit. Um, but once we started uh, moving the ball around um, and just uh, everyone buying into the game plan, things started clicking for us. The other thing I was very impressed with, Preston, out there on the defensive side, they had, um, it was a total of 27 baskets, but just nine assists out there for the whole time. Tell me about your defense. I mean, you guys seem to make them go one-on-one. -on -one. A lot of times that ball stalled before a shot went up, things like that. Um, yeah, the game plan on the scout was just, we have to be um, big time helpers because they were a team that likes to dribble drive um, and dish out. So we kind of just wanted to dig and the other guys were going one-on-one. -on -one. We just tried to play the best help side we could and force tough shots. Ryan, I want to talk to you a little bit about trying to build depth. We see on the other side of San Bernardino, if you get in some foul trouble, you have to go down that bench, it's not a good thing. You're able to kind of work some other guys in, trying to build some depth. Is that kind of part of the plan early in the season to, to not just rely on your top seven, top eight starters, but try to build some guys out? Yeah, I think uh, a characteristic of any great team uh, is depth. Uh, you're going to face all kinds of adversity throughout a season. Uh, hopefully not uh, injury, uh, but you're definitely going to come up against uh, situations where you have guys in foul trouble. Uh, for us tonight, uh, that was Ziggy Satterthwaite. He hardly played uh, in the game, um, especially some moments where we thought we would maybe really need him. Uh, but luckily so far this year, Caden Anderson has gotten some minutes. Uh, he's got a little bit of experience now. I think he did went in and did a, a good job for us. He took a big charge defensively. Uh, there in the second half. Uh, and then Ben O'Coton, we'd like to get him on the floor more. He definitely himself would like to play more, but we were able to get him some minutes uh, tonight uh, during that foul trouble uh, as well. And I thought those two guys did a good uh, job. And then um, Josh Rodriguez, he struggled taking care of the ball. Um, thought he struggled at moments defensively too. So to have a guy like Brock McKenzie who can go in there and maybe give us a little bit different look is valuable as well. Dalton, I want to talk to you really quick about the Point Loma's ability to get to the charity stripe tonight. You guys got to there 47 times. You and Preston up here combined for 26 of those. Tell me about how you guys were able to get to it, how you guys stayed aggressive and kept attacking the rim. Uh, yeah, we just got, got the ball in our spots. Um, and they were digging down, uh, swiping at the ball. Um, so we just had to uh, take care of it once we got it in the post. Um, and we knew we were going to find the free throw line. I bring this one up too much, but Preston, I just want to ask you, last one, this is a physical team. You guys were able to win the rebounding battle. That has to be a sense of pride. I know Coach Looney and you guys take a lot of pride in winning those ones. Tell me about the way you guys were able to battle against a team that was as big, if not bigger, than you guys and win that one. Yeah, um, that's definitely one of our main goals every single game is to just win on the glass and crash on the O and the D boards. And um, if we just buy into doing that, then we can get the same result like we had tonight. Final question for Coach Looney. Um, big win, regional opponent out there. I know something that you expect to be pretty good in the region. Just tell me about the importance of this win more than just one in the win column. I think that's one thing we talked about in the locker room uh, after the game. Um, we have some experienced guys. Uh, we know that when you're playing these in-region games, if you want to accomplish uh, your goals by the end of the year, uh, winning every single one of them uh, is of the utmost importance. A uh, win against San Bernardino tonight uh, is every bit as valuable as a conference game um, that we'll play later in the year and even a conference tournament game too. So we were definitely frustrated uh, at moments. San Bernardino played extremely hard, extremely physical. I think had our guys the whole first half uh, frustrated on the offensive end. Um, but I think we'll, by the time we get to the end of the year, we'll be able to look back on this one like this was a pretty valuable win for us. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.